Hello everyone, how are you? I hope you all are fine. So in this video, we will discuss about physics. So firstly, we, uh, I would like to introduce that. What is physics? So there are many definitions to define physics. So the one of the definition is the branch of science. which deals with natural events and laws of natural events and laws of nature natural events in the sense uh, the uh, event that is created by the nature for example so here we can see that uh, two stone is stacked together and uh, here is uh, in the emission of light and the place where we the uh, statin is done the place become hot and also the emission of sound okay so this the light heat and sound this is the natural effect okay so this effect we will read in physics okay so the natural events uh, the the branch of science which deals with natural events and laws of nature called physics the light where we can where we read in physics and uh, the heat where we uh, read in physics and sound in also we will read in physics okay so this is the example of natural event And we can also write this definition like this, the branch of science which deals with natural events okay so it is similar as first definition so the next def definition sorry bro. sorry here we write that uh, is called physics okay is called physics okay so our third definition is the branch of science which deals with physical quantity so here the branch of science which deals with physical quantity is called physics so here we can understand that the branch of science which deals with okay but here is the new words come that what is physical quantity? So let us discuss what is physical quantity to understand the definition. Okay. So the quantities. can be measured 
are called are called physical quantity okay so the quantities which can be measured are called physical quantity that uh, that, that uh, it means the quantity which can able to sorry that uh, quantities that we can able to measure okay that uh, for example mass volume Vo mass can be measured in kg and gram and uh, volume can be measured uh, in uh, milliliter and liter that uh, sugar if we buy sugar in mass so it can be measured that uh, shopkeeper measures it uh, that what uh, what is your amount that uh, it is 20 gram or uh, 20 kg okay so this is called physical quantity that can be measured and second one is what is non physical quantities quantities which cannot be measured physical quantities. quantities so the quantities which can uh, not be measured co are called non physical I'm sorry uh, non physical quantities okay so that the quantities which cannot be able to measure called non physical quantities uh, like uh, whiteness sweetness did you see uh, whiteness that uh, we cannot be measured that uh, the board is white that we cannot say that uh, how uh, how uh, much the board is white that uh, uh, 20 gram the board is white uh, this is possible no this cannot be possible uh, just like sweetness uh, it cannot be measured in gram and kilogram so it is called non physical quantity discussed about uh, uh, what is physics and also what is physical quantities and non-physical quantities and now types of physical quantities Okay, so first one is vector quantity. Vector quantities and second one is scalar quantities. And last one is tensor quantity. into three parts first one is vector quantities first one is vector quantities second one is scalar and third one is tensor quantities okay so uh, in this video we have discussed about what is phys physics and what is physical quantity and non-physical quantity and types of physical quantity and here uh, we will uh, in the next video we will discuss about vector quantity then scalar and then after tensor okay so
that's all for today uh, take care goodbye